Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So, this your brother Shopper, man. So, here you go. You got Pastor Cheryl Reed Bartley, a preacher, which is going off, and we study tell y'all is going off. So look what look what she end up getting into. Preacher baptizes man who died during ceremony as manslaughter charges sought. Preacher, woman preacher who don't supposed to be preaching, baptizing a man and dunking him in water. And it's funny the apostle, the uh, um, the dude just came out there to the camp in Dallas wanting to debate. Uh, wanted to debate about baptism and all of that and this and this and that. It's unnecessary, man. It's unnecessary. Preacher baptizes man who died during ceremony as man slaughter charges sought. A man with Parkinson's disease ventured over 300 miles to see preacher Cheryl Reed Barkley hoping to be baptized and reborn. <laughs> And reborn before his time on earth ended. And it ended. And <laughs> it ended up being the last thing he ever did. See that? The event which was live streamed on the Facebook page of Life Changing Ministries. It changed his life. The organization Reed Bartley had founded showed Robert Yap, a man in his 60s, getting, getting ready to be dunked. Underwater in a small pool, the preacher has set up in what looked like a backyard. The video has since been taken down. It showed Robert shaking uncontrollably as he entered the pool before Reed Bartley submerged him briefly underwater. Harrowing footage after that shows the man floating with his head above water with another man in the water with him as the clip is abruptly ended. Robert had died in the ceremony. He died right there in her hands. Wow. Police went on to arrest the 46-year-old woman who wasn't supposed to be teaching anyway, preaching and, and doing all that anyway. Police went on to arrest the 46-year-old woman who performed the baptism, accusing her of manslaughter, Reported the Daily Mail. Robert was reportedly given life support. Life support saving. Th I guess that's what they mean. Robert was reportedly given life support. But was ultimately pronounced dead at the scene. After emergency services arrived. The ordeal occurred at a residence on Shade Road. In Stockland Green. Ernington, Birmingham. The West Midlands Police said a postpartum examination will conduct will be conducted as the authorities scramble to determine Robert's cause of death. The remains un remains unclear whether the baptism himself killed the man. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he was alive. She dipped him and he died. Hey, what? What else? What else caused it? Oh, he could have had a heart attack or something like that. Yeah. That was brought on by her doing what she wasn't supposed to be doing. She wasn't supposed to be doing all that anyway. Robert had allegedly estranged from his family because of his involvement with life changing ministries. The self described apostle, uh huh, see? The self described apostle, Reed Bartley, said he had. He has sought the baptism as a way to draw closer and delve deeper into his faith. Following the incident, the preacher posted a 54-minute video on her personal Facebook page in honor of Robert. Check this out. This would uh, this would made me do the lesson. She she posted a 40 
54-minute video on her personal Facebook page in honor of Robert in which she detailed the incident from her perspective, opening with a lot of singing and religious music, she eventually launches into a small speech. In it, she claims that Robert died because he had witnessed a glimpse. You hear, you hear, look at this crap. In it, she claims that Robert died because he had witnessed a glimpse of heaven during the ceremony and therefore did, didn't want to come back. He decided then and there that his life was complete and that it was time for him to move on. <laughs> wow. Reed Bartley, who is also a beautician at a salon she operates, so she a, 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 a apostle and a hairstylist. Beautician at a salon she operates with her husband, then reported to have Seen Robert, yeah, this this part two. Seen Robert dancing with Jesus in the garden up in heaven, <laughs> and said that. <laughs> so, so you how was shy is up there dancing in heaven <laughs> with a head that down here getting dunked in some water, huh? She figured out the plans that God made for him, saying that him and the Lord had a conversation. I was taken to heaven instantly to see Robert Yap, the preacher said. This was never, this has never happened to me yet <laughs> that somebody just passed on. He's young. He's dancing with Jesus in the garden. After the ceremony, she went up to her room to change out of her wet clothes from the baptism, at which point she said Jesus came to sit with her. Woo. At which point she said Jesus came to sit with her, not saying a word, but simply being there in her presence. The investigation into the death continues with Reed Bartley having been released on bail as the investigation pens. I tell you, boy. I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. Look, here's the picture right here. When I hit the thing over there, that's the picture of her and the guy right there, I guess. Bugged out, man. YouTube on my on my back too, man. YouTube, YouTube, man. YouTube is done turned up. They striking on heads again, man. So that's why you gotta be be um be 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 kind of easy with how we speak, man. This this is you know. YouTube removed another content, so they done removed two in the last two days. Uh, Lord, luckily they didn't give me no um strikes, but I got one strike on the channel, so they just removed another thing for you see misinformation. Yeah, they they um they crazy man, it's crazy man. But let's get to the scriptures. Let's get to the scriptures. Yeah, that's crazy man. He go drive 300 miles to his death. <laughs> 300 miles he drove to go go do a baptism and get. Let's matter of fact, let's get this one first. This one pop. I've got some other script. This one popped in my head. Psalms 119. Thinking eight. Psalms 119 and and eight. Let's start there. I will keep thy statutes, O forsake me not utterly. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Yeah, man, that's unnecessary, man. That's unnecessary, man. That's unnecessary. First Corinthians 1 and 17. I, uh, Apostle Elder Apostle Tahada brought this one out like in the last couple of days, like five or six times. First Corinthians chapter 1 and 7. For anointed Hamashiach sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. 
1 Corinthians 1 and 17. For Hamashiach anointed sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, least the cross of anointed Hamashiach should be made of none effect. Yeah, man. Preach, man. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Preach the word. <laughs> That's what we supposed to be doing, man. Preaching the word, man. Not dunking nobody in water. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Breaking down the scriptures so people got understanding. That's what we supposed to be doing, man. Out of thy belly shall flow rivers of living water. That's what we supposed to be doing, man. Luke 11 and 28. But he said, this is Yahweh Shai. Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it. That's who is blessed, man. Getting the understanding. Getting the understanding of the scriptures and doing them, man. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's what you're supposed to be doing, man. But, you know, wacky-tacky Christians, they got their own formula <laughs> for what's that. Oh, you know, believe in Jesus, so let me dip you on the water. Romans 10 and 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you got to have a name. You got to have a name. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? She was not sent. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. <laughs> but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Elias, Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath received our report? So then faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily they, their sound went out into the earth and their words unto the end of the world. Yeah, by preaching, by preaching. But she was not sent because women was not sent to teach. So she was not sent. That's why she doing the gimmicks and she got she hustling and this and this and that. And you following behind her and you got the results of you following behind her. You got the results, man. But man's goings is of the Lord, so the Lord directed his steps. Colossians 3 and 16. Let the word. Let the word know the bathtub in the backyard. The little little doggy pool in the backyard, man. Let the word of the of anointed dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Yeah. And whatsoever ye do in word. Or D, do all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. Yeah, that's what we supposed to be doing, man. That's what we supposed to be doing, man. We supposed to be teaching the word to give people understanding when they hear the word. This is what's supposed to be going on, man. This is what's supposed to be going on. But they don't get it, man. They don't get it. And it's and and like I said, it's a it's it they the the dude was just out there debating the 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 um the thing ain't no ain't uh, ain't no ain't no Israelite brother never um preaching the word had nobody put the um caused nobody to pass on. I bet I bet none of the Christians ain't gonna do no lesson on that. Ain't gonna do no video on on this. 2 Corinthians 2 and 17. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of the Most High, but as sincerity, but as of the Most High. In the sight of the Most High speak, speak we in 
Hamashiach. Speak words. Words, man. Words, man. Words. The words is strong. The words is powerful. Let's get that one. The words is strong. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah, crazy, man. Crazy. Went to see a, 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 a pastor, a, a, a apostle, a female apostle to get baptized, and that's the last thing you do. Can't make that up, man. You cannot make that up, people. You cannot make that up, man. She going off. And I see, what's her name? Royal Roots. The, the other so-called um, apostle, female apostle, she did a, a lesson, and I ain't even look at it, because I'm like, she'll waste a damn time trying to rebuke her to get her to stop with her madness. She call herself doing another lesson, again, head ain't even covered, and she talking about false false um, pos, false um prophets, um, something, um, Check yourself, check your spirit, or check your faith, or something like that. I'm like, she, all her lessons is about her. Every lesson she do is about her. First Thessalonians 2 and 13. Twelve. That ye walk, that ye would walk worthy of the Most High, who have called you into his kingdom of glory. For this cause also, thank we, the Most High, without ceasing. Why? Because when ye received the word of the Most High, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but as in truth. The word of the Most High, which effectually worketh also in you that believe. So if the person that's supposed to call themselves teaching, giving you the understanding of the scriptures, you'll then understand that that baptism thing is not needed. It's not needed. It is not needed. It is not needed. Yeah, you could go and do it for, for, for the, the um, symbolism, I guess, or whatever. It is not needed. What you need is to get understanding of the scriptures. That's what you need. That's what you need. Get understanding of the scriptures, Keep start trying to do the best to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Calling on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and pray that you not you gonna make it. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need no Kool Aid. You don't need no cracker. You don't need drink no grape juice. You don't need none of that, man. James chapter one and. Sixteen, do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh from, cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning, of his own will begat us, got he, Salakia, of his own will begat he us with the word of truth. Of his own will begot he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Yeah, That's, this is what you need, man. You need the word, man. You need the word. You don't need nothing else. You don't need nothing else. You don't need to be out there going, trying to drive, taking no, no 300 mile trip. To go find some some pastor to dip you in water. This is not what you need, man. This is not what you need. He drowned. Man drowned after being dunked twice in water. So, yeah. So, with that one, man, we're going to close out. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. By Hashem. Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. 
to the hopeful elect out there. Scattered abroad, unlikened to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Y'all women, y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop teaching. Y'all got to stop teaching. But we know y'all not. We know y'all not. Carry on. To the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirala. And the Bible, Bible. Rock a thumb, family. Shalom.